Hey guys. All right, everyone, let's uh, start with questions for Josh. Go Matt Michaels and then Ben. You're muted, Matt, or I can't hear you. I still can't hear him. Yeah, Matt, we still can't hear you. It looks to be on his end. Let's go to Ben. Hey, Josh, it's, it's a sweep, but this thing um, was close uh, mm -hmm. uh, much of the way. Um, why is that good for your team? I'm sure it is. Yeah, no, it is good. Uh, that's a good point. Um, I, I like that um, it required us to rely on one another and solve a, solve a tough problem together as a group, and uh, we did a pretty nice job of that. And I think towards the end of the match, we saw a little more consistency um, with addressing that early on, finding a solution to the problem we were facing and uh, um, going from there. So I was happy with how we consistently got better. Um, you can see from the scores, 21, 17, 15 um, throughout those sets. And um, side out percentage went up each set. And uh, we, were, we were doing a nice job of, um, like I said, finding solutions to those problems that we were facing. Matt, you want to give it a try again? If he types it, I can pull it up, right? Yeah, you want to – hey, Matt, it. text me or, or text me and we can uh, get your question on. Um, let's go to uh, Eric Blum. Hey, Josh, you talked about before this match it being a luxury that you guys, uh -huh. you know, get to play the, play this going into. Can you define better what that luxury is on the other end of it or you might not know what that is until tomorrow? Brother, just a little bit there. Um, defining what gonna, the luxury I, I can is. I go I'm again sorry. if you want to ask yeah, so, sorry, no, one more sorry, time. No. Um, so you said yesterday, even before that, that it's a luxury that you guys yes. get to play this going in. Do you know, can you better define that lug, what that luxury is now of playing yeah. in the first round, or are you not going to even know that until tomorrow? You know, I, I think the, the big thing is the NCAA tournament is its own beast. It's really hard to get here, and being here is a privilege, and I think with that comes a lot of pressure. And we were talking prior to the match, is this pressure that we're feeling is a privilege. Being here is a privilege. It comes with its own pressure. And um, I think being able to get those jitters out that come with it is something that I'm really grateful for. Ohio State hasn't played in weeks, and they don't get to come play a match in this venue. They get to train, which is good. But playing a match in this venue is much different than training. Um, we, we know that. We've done that two days in a row. And um, I think a big thing also that we're trying to keep in mind is that they're starting three freshmen who have never been in the tournament before, never played in this venue before, and they don't have a match to kind of get out their jitters. So they're going to be seeing us for the first time. Um, I can't remember the last time I played Ohio State, but um, they're going to be seeing us for the first time. And we, we had an opportunity to play in this venue, play with the new equipment, play on a different floor, and, um, you know, really, really kind of come together as a team after not playing for a really long period of time. You can uh, – you can create an atmosphere in your gym that mimics a match, but nothing perfectly mimics a match. So um, being able to play today um, and play well and uh, create, you know, some solutions to problems that we face, I'm really happy with. So it was huge that we got to play today. Colin. Yeah, Josh, kind of along with your expectations for Ohio State tomorrow and, and a pretty good uh, defensive team. I mean, a good all-around team because they're the number nine for sure. seed. But... For sure, yeah. And I think uh, I was talking to somebody about this a while ago, but I, I don't think they do anything perfectly. And I think they do every skill really well, which is, I think, what makes them really successful um, so far this year. They got a new coaching staff, and I, I think their head coach is doing a really nice job with the, with the group that she's got. And they play good volleyball. They're They're – Big, strong, they, they play fast. And um, I think one way that we're going to have to challenge them is by keeping the speed of our offense up um, and transition as well as serve receive. But um, they, they play good volleyball and they're not going to give us a ton of points. So I think a big thing we're focused on is not giving them points when we don't have an opportunity that we like. And I think that's something that we addressed today in the South Dakota match. And I think that's why that first set was so close as we were giving them a ton of points. When we had sets we didn't like when – you know, we we're getting a little undisciplined, but I think tomorrow the big thing is going to be that we can't play a battle of making errors back and forth. We got to make sure that we're, we're forcing them to make those errors and um, we got to be winning the transition battle, but they're a really good volleyball team. So we're excited for a battle. Error. 
I know you have a season just you know playing in the conference schedule, but how do you manage the next you know 24 hours when you just had an NCAA tournament win, but you know you have your next you know winner go home game in 22 hours? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, so we we already have a scouting report put together for Ohio State. Um, Russell is on Molly have done a really nice job of already scouting them. It's been, it's been ready for multiple days now since we, since we knew we made the tournament. So we're ready to present the information. Um, we know them probably better than they know themselves. So it's just going to be this afternoon presenting the information to our girls and, you know, trying to soak in as much as possible and applying it tomorrow. Um, I think we got a good plan to exploit some weaknesses of theirs and um, we know what they're going to be trying to exploit against us as well. So we'll be prepping for, um, both of those things. But uh, yeah, it's going to be, we're going to get them actually in the pool here pretty soon after lunch for a little pool rehab and then um, give them a little downtime. And then we'll be watching some video and presenting our plan against Ohio State for tomorrow at 11 a.m. Hi, Josh, right, this might work. There we go. Yeah. Uh, I, I wonder with you know, the back-to-back -back nature of this and, and your team coming off of the long layoff and maybe you addressed it with somebody else's question, but do you think it's easier to tell a team, all right, just go out there and play free, like we are what we are and have confidence in what you do, or, or is, it, is it a little bit more easy to say, okay, you know, let's take that quick turnaround and digest everything? Is there kind of a balance of that in a coach and trying to prepare for this? For sure. And I think I, I love that question. Um, we were talking prior to the match today. I, I think I know actually you, you've got to earn the right to be proud and confident. And, you know, we've been training since August. And I, I think this this group of, of women has uh, earned that right to be proud and confident going in any match. So um, I think there'll be like one or two things that we look at from today and, and we say, hey, this is what we did well. Let's continue that this is what we didn't do well. I think we made good adjustments um, when we brought it to attention during a match. But the biggest thing and you know, when you're in the tournament, it's really kind of whoever's hot, who's playing good volleyball, who's coming to play and who wants it more. And uh, I think if we stick to the plan that we're going to be presenting, but also the biggest focus is going to be our side of the net, right? How good a volleyball are we playing? How great teammates are we being? And how good are we being as a unit? So um, there's definitely a balance, but I think when you get in this, this point of the year and when you get in the NCAA tournament, it's what you're doing on your side of the net. Any other questions? All right, thanks, guys. Thank you, everybody. See you, everybody.